Look, I'm gonna level with you. I was just looking for an excuse to get out of there for a bit. And you should know that finding your friends, that's a shot in the dark. Well, then why'd we come out here? I wanted to talk to you, away from them. You wouldn't have made it this far if you weren't smart. But I still... I just gotta warn you. That group is cracking. I've seen it before. And, well, a lot of times, it's better to be on your own. I know you see what I'm talking about. You don't want to be here when they start turning on each other. Turning on you. They're not bad people. But there have been problems before. I don't always agree with what they say or do. Neither do I. Look at Kenny. I don't even know where to begin with what a liability he is. And Rebecca's situation is not making things better back there. You get enough broken people together, and all you're gonna get are broken decisions. Have you just kept to yourself this whole time? Of course not. But sometimes you gotta learn the hard way. I'm trying to save you that trouble. For what it's worth, I like most of the people in your crew. But groups fall apart. People get killed. Then why did you bring me with you? I'm just trying to give you the tools you need to make it. Like your jacket. It looks warm, but a walker will bite right through that. My sister Jamie had a good leather one. Wish I still had it. You could've. Could have what? Never mind. There are things I don't like remembering, too. You know, being a big sister is, well, it's funny. It's really easy to be mean. Oh? You know, hide her toys, make fun of her bad haircut, give her the bad haircut on purpose. I mean, I did put the gum there. I figured I should get it out. I don't even know why. Is that really what it's like having a sister? No, no. It's not all bad, but... What could I do? She thought I was her best friend. I couldn't go unpunished. <laughs> Every summer we'd go to this amusement park in Virginia. But the best part wasn't the rides. It was that nobody knew us there, and I'd... I'd pretend we weren't sisters, just friends. <clears throat> All right, jackpot. Bet these walkers got some good stuff. That one's not coming back. See what else he's got. Shouldn't we be looking for Luke, Sarah, and Nick? In a situation like this, you gotta ask yourself, would they risk themselves for you? We've got enough to worry about as it is. Besides, we don't know where they are, or if they're even alive. Luke went off to try to save Sarah. I'm sure he'd try to save me too. Okay, but first I want to show you something, and it might help find your friends. These are fresh walkers. Take a look. Old walkers are a waste of time. They're holding credit cards and busted old pagers. But these ones weren't walkers all that long ago. They were survivors. They might have useful stuff. Let's see what else he's got. I'll check this one. Hold on to him. Emma's getting hard to come by, and things aren't going to get better. Find anything? Nothing we can use, right? Hmm. 
I guess they would be useful, in a way. To him, at least. Smart haircut. Thanks. So, has your crew always been so dysfunctional? You fit in there, but you weren't like them. It makes me wonder. I was with a different group before. That one worked better, I think. That was when I got my hair cut like this. That's it. A nail file. These things are great. Sharpen a blade, strike a flint. Jamie always had one in her purse. I'd jab my hand when I went reaching in. <sighs> Can never be too sure with these things. Here, give me a hand. Sarah's. Looks like your friend didn't make it. Sorry. I don't know what to tell you. All we know is that she was here. It could be a good sign. Don't go getting your hopes up. Look, Clem, I know what you want me to say, but... Yeah! Sarah! Goddamn! Shit! Okay, come on. We gotta find a way in. Looks like there's an opening over there. <laughs> 